Hey guys, this is Dave again. It has been quite some time, but I'm back with this very tutorial. This tutorial will be about RGB channels and masking within the Unreal Engine 4. And this is what we're going to create. So first I'm going to delete it. Force delete. It's all right. Blank one. Create a new material. RGB mask. And we'll be using two expressions. The uh, first expression will be so-called uh, component, component, I said component mask. And the second one we'll be using is the lerp. The lerp, where's, th oh lerp, just L and left click. These are the two ones we're gonna be using. And we create a, or we're gonna create a map I have an example right here, a map that stores or that includes three black and white images creating a full picture like this one and those three RGB channels will use to blend in between different surface colors. Sounds complicated so we get through this step by step and this is for the advanced users. This is very complicated but once you get used to it it's amazing for your workflow so I recommend watching this tutorial uh, alright first we go into Photoshop this is what I did this is my basic image I created three layers a background layer white is visible black is invisible a second layer where this is white and a bit of this one around um, yes yeah, it's, it's okay it's just for demonstrational purpose <laughs> and a third layer Combined together, we have a picture that looks like this. How do I do that, or how, how did I did that? Is I exported these images, created another, well, Photoshop file, and added all of them into the respective channels. The background is in the blue channel, the, uh, well, mid, whatever is in the green channel, and the actual logo, if you can call it a logo, is in the red channel. Make sure that white is visible and black is invisible, like masking works anyways. So make sure that if you export these, the background is black and what you want to see is white. Um, why would you want to do that? I'll show you in a, in a second, I just want to make sure you get this right. For this tutorial, you could download the texture, the link is in the description below, or you can create something yourself, like I'm going to do a, uh, another data. You can say, um, create a new layer, make the background uh, black, and draw on something, create a new layer, something, and create another layer, add something, and save each one out, and put each black and white map into the RGB channel. All right, but first of all, it's okay if you just download the image and then I'll show you what I do with it. Let's go into the Unreal Engine 4 then. I have put it into uh, my project, imported the RGB mask called Texture. Now we're getting started. The map you want to use is uh, up to you. You can use a preset, you can include story content, it doesn't matter. Now let's head to the real challenge. First of all, we want to create a vector parameter. Uh, no, 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 back me pardon. A sample parameter 2D. If you watched my previous tutorials, you know why I'm using these, because later on in an instance, you can change any value at all. Well, how you like it. First one I'm gonna call it diffuse mask, not the map. Then right click and search for component and there we have it component mask. Duplicate it with uh, control W three times. Place them like I do. I said place some. And what do they do? 
if we uh, select our RGB, so all of them, and plug it into our mask, it will only extract the red and green channel. Now if we go in here and deselect green, only the red channel will be visible. Now we can have a look and stop previewing note. Make it a bit bigger. Go in here. You can see only this one is visible. If we now add in the green, the green will be visible as well. Then for the other ones, what we're going to do is very simple. Okay, first uh, stop reviewing this note. Here we only want to have the uh, green channel, and for the last one, we only have the uh, blue channel. And drag them in here. Next step is we want to have three colors. So right click, and now we're going to use the vector parameter. First one will be a diffuse color A. Oh, I almost forgot to uh, create a group diffuse. This is also within the diffuse group. The main color is white for now. Copy paste them. This one is of course B and the last one will be C. Now this is kind of cool. On your keyboard press M and left click three times and make the output of the mask multiplied with the color. You'll see what that do later on. Okay. All right, drag them out. Um, why do I always make it like this? So, or, well, <laughs> beg me pardon. Okay, so why do I always drag them out and arrange them as best as possible? The reason for that is simple. I always want to have an overview of what's going on for my materials. And this is actually on top of this. Uh, there we go. Okay, sorry for that. I always rearrange them. Why? Because I want to keep an overview of what's going on. It's just better to have it sorted out. So if you later want to change anything within your material, you can find it easily, except if, like it's uh, somewhere else. Okay, click or press A, 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 A on your keyboard. Left click, duplicate it. Now what you'll be doing is add the first part to the second part, or the second part to the first part, the third part to the first part. Let's say your mask would have another channel, then just add in another add and it'll work fine. Now we plug in this all into our base color, uh, you can see nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? Because the color is all the same. Now we go to the real part where the magic happens. The background, let's say, should be a bit of gray. Put it in a gray color. As you can see, our blue channel becomes like gray. Let's say we want the uh, green channel right here to be very, very dark, almost black. Ah, cool. The inside should be like a little bit of gold or just a little tin of gold um, maybe a bit more right here there we go and pretty cool eh? so only using these three channels creating a cool texture right from the start we can then within the Unreal Engine use the RGB channels to create a very very cool effect for some workflows this is essential especially if using the physically based materials within the Unreal Engine 4. Now let's say we want to use, we want one surface to be metallic and the other surfaces not to be metallic. First we want to add in is a scalar parameter, again as in your keyboard left click, first one we're going to call metallic and change the group to surface. Metallic should be one from the start, so just First of all, you can see what's happening. The second one will be uh, specular. Even no, we don't need specular right now, so we're just gonna not use it. 
And the first, third one would be roughness with a 0.3 works pretty well. Now collect these to your respective nodes, save it, and we have a cool metallic material right here. Now let's say we want the inner black or dark area to be non-metallic. How can we do that? This we can do using a LERP, a linear, linear interpolate. The easiest way to add in a linear interpolate is pressing L on your keyboard, left click. And we now have to mask it out what is metallic and what is not. We go to the diffuse map, copy paste it or duplicate it. I'm going to call this now to the, uh, let's say, metallic mask and add the, edit the group to surface. And we want to change only the green color. The rest should stay the same. So we're going to use the green output, put it into the alpha. Now, the alpha is the actual map that blends between A and B. The A should be like, um, in this case, that the metallic is visible. Go to this parameter, duplicate it, and let's say we're going to call it metallic on, and duplicate it again. I'm going to call this second one metallic off. Plug these into the A and into the B channel. Rearrange them the way you like. Uh, this one looks pretty cool. And plug in the lerp into the metallic. And nothing happens yet because the metallic off is set to 1. Now set it to 0. And here we have our great effect. All this metallic except for the inside of our material. And that's pretty much it what you can do with the uh, masking within the Unreal Engine 4. There are more methods, but these are the basics and you should definitely try them out and learn them. It's just making you, all of your workflow way easier. We're going to save this. And when it's done compiling, we're going to add the uh, texture to the scene. I've used a simple shape, shape cube. Edit it, save it, and we jump right into a game. You can see it's all metallic except for the inside part. Okay, now if you have any questions at all, um, just write in the comments below. I try to answer them or answer you as fast as possible. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Also, if you like, you can find the uh, Again, the uh, texture itself within the description and the material, how you can set it up is also included in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. For the next tutorial, I like to go into uh, scripting a bit more, like uh, making a jump pad, making collectibles and feature enabling so that, for instance, you have to collect three stars and then you will only be able to jump or anything like that. And just one last thing to do, Clayton HD asked, yeah, um, could you do a tutorial on how to make a door that swings open when you press E? I could do that, but only using the level blueprint. And using the level blueprint, you would be able to use matinee, which is okay, but if you have like a hundred doors within your map, you have to copy paste the action all over again and it's just like gonna go crazy what's gonna be happening on your blueprint, level blueprint. But since you cannot use matinees within active blueprints yet, I still have to figure out how to do that and well, once I do know how to do it, I'm gonna do a tutorial on that. All right, okay, that was quite a lot. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and see you guys next time. Bye.